All right, guys. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get over 4,000 free to play Chrono Crystals with Dragon Ball Legends latest update that we just got. Now, I did not record yesterday. That's just because I'm in the middle of moving. So I already explained to you guys, if I flip my camera right now, you guys will see nothing but cardboard boxes, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still in the midst of moving. So I was pretty busy yesterday. But anyways, 4,000 crystals is actually really good. Um, as a matter of fact, anything above 4,000, I consider good per week. And this week we see that. So last week, last week we got what? 5,000. Okay. So that's a lot. So the, in two weeks, that's just about give or take, you know, 10,000 crystals, a little bit less, but still that is really, really impressive. Now let's get into it. But before we get into it, I got my calculator right there that I'm going to show you guys before we get into it. If you guys do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like, and subscribe. And I do want to warn you guys ahead of time that next week we will probably be seeing the LF that we're waiting for, which is most likely going to be final flash Vegeta. Um, it could be somebody else, but it could also be final flash Vegeta. Now I will be saying, and this is jumping the gun, by the way, I'll probably be skipping out on the LF if it is Final Flash Vegeta, just because I still think we're going to get an Ultra towards the end of the month, which we're all expecting Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. So that's just a super stretch as of right now because it's still early. But yes, um, just thought I'd toss that out there as an early warning, but let's get into it. We have two login bonuses this week, guys. We have the daily login bonus as well as the weekend login bonus. If we combine those two per week, that's 170 crystals. Of course, 70 from logging in every single day for a week and then 100 for logging in, um, you know, on the final day of the weekend. So that is 170. Okay. Also, we got a brand new, uh, you know, tournament event that stays forever. Um, that you guys can do three times a day, but here this event right here as you guys can see it's called uh, something monster I don't want to mispronounce that uh, But anyways here we can get 672 with the first time rewards as well as the challenges. So let's book in 672 All right guys, and we are eight. We're, we're okay. So we're at 842 um, next up, we also did get a brand new co-op. In co-op, we can actually get crystals from various places, such as the first time rewards, all the challenges on the side, some missions as well. And if you guys go to the co-op shop, you guys can also collect a few crystals off of that. So very self-explanatory. Three ways to basically get crystals, and that's going to tally up to, let's just uh, see if we could collect this. Uh, that's going to tally up to, let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, I'll collect that later. So that's going to be 606, exactly. So let's book in 606. By the way, comment down below how many crystals everybody has right now. I'm assuming you're going to be dry after the Super 17 banner. And for us to get like an LF next week and then an Ultra in three weeks, that's going to be really heavy. So make sure you guys are saving everything I'm calculating right now. And just be, you know, be smart, right? Because we might get an Ultra after the LF. So anyways, um, we also have the brand new free to play sell events here. We cannot collect a lot, unfortunately, only 72 crystals, but it is what it is. It should give out more. As a matter of fact, it used to give out more uh, these events. But yeah, it is what it is. We are at 1520, 1520. OK, next up, we also do have the energized co-op and co-op energized uh, pan events, which is not a lot. But here we can collect 20 crystals for completing both stages. Uh, 10 crystals for the first time rewards per stage. So let's just book in 20. I know it's not a lot. Um, also, the uh, Trunks Zenkai, which here we can collect 300. Um, I, I want to make a video on this guy, as a matter of fact, just because um, I really, really like this character a lot. I like I like the move he threw him Trunks, but um, I want to get a Zenkai a little bit higher. Also, after that, we also got the PvP season, okay? So... For PvP, this season we can collect some stuff off the shop, which is only 300 crystals, which is not a lot. But if you combine that alongside the uh, the group stage rewards and the first time rewards uh, from PvP, of course, that is going to be uh, about, give or take, 1,500 crystals. Now, if you guys, if, if some of this stuff does not apply to you guys, just don't calculate it very simple. I'm just calculating everything you guys can get. For example, here's 1,500 from co-op. If you guys rank, I don't know, top 50,000, you guys can, you know, take off at least like 500 crystals, give or take from that, you know? So then it'd be a thousand crystals from your, uh, from, you know, just do your calculations, but this is what you guys can get as a free to play player. So we're at 3,340, but we have a few more things here. Also, this is a small thing here, guys, but let's just calculate it anyways, which is going to be the brand new Vegeta equipment that we just got, um, here for the first time rewards. It's only 10 crystals, um, you know, per stage. So let's just book that in anyways. And we're at 3,350 crystals. Okay. 
also let's see here oh, okay so we got brand new cell saga missions here we can collect i believe it's 150 for just completing some very basic stuff like uh pvp co-op and stuff like that right so uh plus 150 on top of what we had before and we are at exactly 3500 which is pretty funny um okay so we have a few more things here three more things to be precise um we also and i i think i missed something I, I believe I probably, but let's just keep going. Uh, the weekly stamps, you know, of course, the weekly stamps. If you guys log, uh, if you guys do your, you know, logins and stuff like that, you guys should be getting 500 per week on average. Some weeks more, some weeks, le some weeks less. That's why we average it out to 500. So weekly stamps, 500, and we are officially at the 4,000 mark. Now, uh, to wrap things up here, we also have two more things, which is going to be adventures. Um, you know, got reset, and here we can collect 50 crystals, which is not a lot, but still. It's better than nothing. So we're at 4,050. I think I messed up on something, but we're just going to keep on pushing here. If I miss something, just correct me in the comment section down below. But this is everything entering the game this week that we can calculate. That's just pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So let's fight is something very small, but still, um, you guys can do this three times a day times seven. On average, you guys can collect anywhere from 150, give or take, to 200, depending where your friendship rank is for leveling up your friendship rank, uh, doing three stages a day times seven, which is a week. Uh, let's just average it out to 200. And we are at, let's see, okay, 4,250, which is quite good, okay? This is quite good. Um, also, something really quick to note for you guys is this, okay? Um, I, I want to just say that we're all expecting Final Flash Vegeta, right? He's, he's in the title screen. I just do want to mention that the co-op co equipment rev right now is literally targeting Final Flash Vegeta, like legitimately. Um, <laughs> I mean, it can't, it can't be more of a target. Pretty much, it works if you have three. You know, you get pure stats to your strike attack and blast attack. Um, if you have pure uh, Vegeta clan battle members remaining on your team, at least three, and it's for Vegeta clans only. Now, you guys might be saying this is for Heat Dome Trunks. I don't think so. He dome trunks actually buffs hybrids with his um, Zankai ability, which is which might be a hint towards the, a brand new Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. But um, that trunks also buffs Vegeta Clan. But yeah, I mean, honestly, a unique equipment for a old Zankai. I don't think that's going to be the case. I do think we're probably going to get a Final Flash Vegeta. That's why I got him here on my home screen. It could be an Ultra Final Flash Vegeta for all we know, right? It could be that. Who knows, right? They could just bring out the Ultra next week and boom. That's it, right? Because we got two LFs back to back, right? We got uh, Spirit Bomb GT Gate Koku. And then we ended up getting the Super 17, which kind of feels like an Ultra. But uh, still, you know, very, very good. 4,250 crystals. Last week, we got 5,000. It's up to you guys to save your Chrono Crystals. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.